What's orange, gooey and hardens instantly on impact? The patented shock absorbent material made by D3O. Latest in defence is at D3O's headquarters in Brighton to investigate how the company develops military armour products using its patented substance. Not only does it make helmets and body armour more effective and comfortable for soldiers, but it could reduce the incidence of traumatic brain injury, or TBI. D3O's orange goo is a dilatant fluid, which means its viscosity increases with the rate of shear strain. In its regular state, it's a very thick liquid. When moved slowly, the molecules slide across each other freely. But under strain, the molecules lock together and it acts more like a solid. This is known as non-Newtonian behaviour, and it dissipates the impact energy and reduces the force transmitted to the body or to the object it's protecting. I spoke to D3O's process development manager, Chris Meadows, to find out how the material is created and tested. A drop test, a helmet drop test, will involve the equipment that's behind me. Um, the helmet has a head form and within that's an accelerometer that measures the deceleration as the helmet is dropped. So we drop the helmet from specific heights to mimic different impact velocities. We do this a variety of um, ambient and hot conditions um, and it's dropped onto different shaped anvils. Um, then there's minimum levels of performance that the helmet must meet. We develop different liner materials to meet specific applications. Um, some will be focused on a higher energy impact and others will be focused on meeting a wider operational range, so a range of temperatures that I have to perform in. Born out of the 2006 Winter Olympics, when it's first used to create impact protection for the US and Canadian Olympic ski teams, D3O now specialises in products for the military. Next month, the company will introduce an exciting new product at the Eurosatory Defence Fair in Paris. I spoke to military engineer James Fife about what makes the new helmet liner so groundbreaking. The new military helmet liner that we're making is called the Shock Absorbing Helmet Solution and it is performing to a higher velocity impact of 14 feet per second as opposed to 10 feet per second in the past. So we've specifically designed um, a new foam uh, to attenuate this level of impact which is designed to take two impacts at a very, very high energy and provide the soldier with a very comprehensive level of protection. This is something that nobody else has done yet, so it's a very innovative product and going to be first to market with, with a, a really high performing helmet liner. D3O is dedicated to reducing traumatic brain injury, initially in sports people and now for the military. And we look forward to seeing how it evolves in future. Join us next time on Latest in Defence when we'll bring you more innovations that could improve the effectiveness of combat gear for armed service personnel.